Hey y'all and welcome to the Looking Glass Tarot. I do hope this finds you well and as always this is a general reading for the collective and you will see it when and if you are meant to so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Let's get into this this morning and see what spirit has for our collective. Not too many one at a time please one at a time. Seven of Pentacles. I see that we are doing a lot of planning in this last month. It seems like new ideas are coming out, new plans um, are, are starting to, you're starting to see your plans grow. You're starting to see, um, you know, it maturing and, and the harvest is coming in and you're starting to see your, what you've been doing come, you know, come, come out. You're seeing, oh, I've been taking care of it. I've been watering this. I've been nurturing it. I've been taking care of all the details. I've been making sure everything is done. And I've been putting time and attention to it. And now with the Seven of Pentacles, you're seeing, you're starting to see that come about. You're starting to see your plans come and getting closer to um, harvesting and time to, to put your plan in motion. The Seven of Pentacles is patience. For me, I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is patience because it is a, it is earth, it is material things. So you have to nurture it. You have to have patience. You have to let it grow. You can't just, you know, put it in the ground and, and hope that it does what you want it to do. Um, with anything you want to work out, you have to work hard. You can't just put it to the side and, and let it do its own thing. You gotta nurture it. So the Seven of Pentacles is, is teaching you patience. And it's teaching you everything has its own time. It grows in its own time. It develops in its own time. It has to take this long to get to where it's at. So for, for with the Seven of Pentacles being here, this is patience. You've had patience. You've took the time. You've done your homework. You've done everything you need to do. And now you're, you're about to see it come true. You're about to see the plans come true. Because your Eight of Pentacles is next. And that's... All those plans in the Seven of Pentacles, now the Eight of Pentacles, that's planning in detail. That is getting it down to the last detail and cleaning it up. So you're about to see what you've been putting into um, manifesting and putting into into work. You're about to see your, your fruits of that. Why is the Seven of Pentacles? King of Cups. So maybe this is a, a relationship you've been working on. Maybe this is a, a job opportunity that you've been working on. Maybe this is a business that you've been working on. The King of Cups is very um, solid, rock solid. He is very, um, he's very emotional, like he deals with emotions. He's He looks at things from the heart, but he also is very solid. He's He don't let outside distractions um, interfere with how what he's thinking. He's he's like if you have a King of Cups in your in your life, you are you have a strong partner, you have a strong friend, um, because he's very nurturing and he's he's rock solid. He just doesn't he doesn't get shaken much. You see his thrones on sand, on an island in the middle of the water. I mean, who would not be worried about what's going to happen to me on this little piece of land? But the King of Cups is not. He's that confident in himself. So this is confidence. This could be you, you know, using your confidence to build what you want, using your confidence to make your your wishes, your dreams, your whatever it is you're working on come true. Um, and the King of Cups, he's just very, he's just a warm-hearted, great person. So if you are, if you are the King of Cups or you have the King of Cups in your, around you or water sign around you that's like this this is somebody that could be helping you with your plans somebody that's helping you um supporting you through your plans and supporting you to to get to the end to how you want it to be let's get one more card and see and it, and you could be the king of cups and you could be planning something you know working on a project or working on 
something earthly. It is definitely something earthly. Why is the king up there? So I got the Three of Swords, and upright the Three of Swords is heartache, deceit, um, uh, heartbreak, it's heartbreak, heartache, deceit. It's like um, you feel like you, you know, you there at one time you were emotionally stabbed in the heart. You know, you were deceived, you were mistreated um, in a relationship. But I did get it in reverse. So this is like you're coming, you know, that. The part, the part of the, of the three of swords that is in reverse. So this means that you're. It's like, it's like they're they're you're, it's, go slowly going away. You know, it's like. It's leaving. You're healing. You're, um, you still remember the things that happen, but letting go, letting go is a big is the big thing. You're letting go. Um, it, it hurt really bad, but it's not as bad as it was. You've had time to heal. You've had time to um, step away from, from the whole situation and see what's going on. It's kind of like you had plans, and then you just got, everything just got ruined. Um, and this could be of the heart. This could be a heart thing. This could also be a, a business thing. But it's like you put yourself out there, and then something happened. But now that you're in reverse, you're, the Three of Swords is in reverse, it's like it's slowly moving, this pain slowly leaving. You're slowly getting um, your healing. And this, I feel like this is from just like taking time for yourself, um, taking some time off, being away, you know, self-healing time, alone time. So I just kind of feel like you, you've, you're moving out of that. You're moving out of the heartbreak and the deception. Let's see what the unicorn card has for you. Hold up. Not one at a time, please. One at a time. There we go. Abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming your way. So that's what I was talking about, the Seven of Pentacles. You seem to have plans that are getting ready to go into harvest um, you've been nurturing it now you're starting to see how things are moving progressing you're starting to see how things are working out um, results you're starting to get results from your plans so and and you're going to the eight of Pentacles then you'll be at the nine of Pentacles which is in the ten which is abundance and happiness and having everything you want so keep going how you're going keep that same track keep nurturing don't dev deviate from what you've been doing because it's working and your heart is slowly healing because you took the time to do that yourself the self healing brings you out of out of what you need to leave behind and then you're moving forward so you're learning to leave this behind it's been a slow process and you've been working on it but i feel like you're you're headed in that direction um and don't look back don't look back enjoy what's you've got looking forward and don't let what happened in the past damper you just you, you you know finally let that last sword fall and let it go let's get a spirit animal I feel like you had a you're, you're having to learn to trust over again too but the King of Cups is solid. He's a solid, you know, so you will you will learn to trust again. You will. Grizzly Bear, power. I am undestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength, and it is with the King of Cups. I never give up. I will succeed. So there, let's see if I can put it over here out of the glare. There we go. So see, there you are. You do have the power. You're taking your power back from being injured or hurt or deceived. You're taking that back. And the King of Cups kind of is undestructible. Like I was saying earlier, you see he's on this island in the middle of the ocean and he's still standing strong on his throne. So that's, that does go with I am undestructible. Listen to your intuition because it will not lead you wrong. Always listen to your intuition. And slowly heal. You're doing the right thing. You're healing yourself and... 
healing yourself and moving forward is is what's going to make make you successful so thank you for watching subscribing and commenting i do appreciate it i do appreciate all my new subscribers coming on and my subscribers that have been with me i appreciate all of you thank you very much for watching my videos and i do appreciate you have a great day love and light and bless be